is the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we're going to be touring this beautiful, beautiful home. This is a Clayton Homes. It's out at Vivian Home Sales in Baldwin, Georgia. This is a Patriot Series mobile home. Now, I just want to add that all homes at this facility are Energy Star. It basically means that it's energy efficient to the max. So we're gonna go in and tour this beautiful home, you guys. I'm so excited for you to see it. I have to go in and see the name, and when I saw it, I didn't wanna leave. So let's go in and see how beautiful this home is. Okay, awesome. So right off the bat, when you walk in, you've got this feature wall. This is for all my rustic farmhouse lovers. You've got this beautiful feature wall. You've got a foyer area. I could see a nice bench and some decor there, or even you, you've got an option. I would put a smaller entry table either on this side of the door or on that side of the door, and I would put a bench here with a nice uh, blanket and or throw um, blanket and pillows and some beautiful decor on the wall just to dress up this foyer area. You could even put a small entry table here and a lamp table or have whatever you like for your keys and stuff right here or a little bench there just whatever you want so again this is the front door area and then to the right you have your living room love the built-in space for the tv love the three big windows here brings in lots of natural lighting Love that you can make um, a nice little sitting area in here. The fact that it has so much space for the large TVs. And I love the built-in on that wall that you can put decor or books or games or albums or whatever you like over there. Really beautiful. So I'm going to walk around and let you get a closer look. Now, the shelves... And this built-in aren't that wide. I had to come look and see. So this is really for decor. So scratch what I just said for, as far as books, unless you just put them up there where we can see the front cover. Um, but that would be beautiful for decor or, uh, I don't know, maybe your child is uh, active in sports and has trophies or whatever the case may be. Um, it's up to you what you put there, but... I think it'd be a nice place for it. Adds a little character to this room. Love the dark wood trim around the room. Really, really nice. Beautiful space. Love it. Love the can lights in the ceiling. And, and you have can lights. Let's go over here so you can take a look. You have can lighting under here. Can you see it? Right there where your TV is, okay? You got storage space over here, and it's got the shelving in it. Woohoo! love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now you, you have um, open concept next to this wall. You can see into the kitchen and dining room area. Look at this huge window here. And then you also have the sliders right there. Beautiful. Your dining room table will go in this area. Lots of space for a big table, you guys. Lots of natural lighting in this house. Beautiful dark cabinets in this kitchen. You've got regular um, countertops on the back, but you got granite in the island really nice upgrade you've got your sink in the island love that faucet i'm gonna have to get me one i keep looking at it and i keep putting it in my cart but i haven't purchased it yet love that you have the uh the darker grain instead of the steel i forget the official name but it's it's the darker gray steel instead of the light um silver love 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 that Somebody's going to correct me in the comments. They won't let me make, you guys, my subscribers, y'all, some of y'all won't let me make mistakes or not know what I'm talking about. So go ahead and comment below the, the color 
of these the refrigerator stove and built-in microwave I know it's not it's the uh, let's see if it's well I don't want to show you the price yet <laughs> um where is the refrigerator oh this is it's actually I'm calling it a dark gray but this is called the black stainless steel so I'll have to remember that this has black stainless steel and you've got your side-by-side -side refrigerator. You've got your ceramic top, black stainless steel stove and the built-in microwave. So really nice. Love the farmhousey backsplash. Love it. This is a beautiful kitchen. I actually love the light flooring and I probably prefer the lighter cabinets, but this dark, these dark cabinets in here is beautiful. Love your little farmhouse door here. Um, over your pantry, you can leave it open or you can have it closed. And if you don't like it, you can, but you like this house, take it down. Tell them you don't want this one. You want a regular door to your pantry. You don't have to get it. So don't let that be a deal breaker. All of these farmhouse features, you guys, the backsplash, that feature wall when you come in, this is how they did this house. You can order this house with White cabinets, antique white cabinets, gray cabinets, green cabinets, tan cabinets. You don't have to have that black splash. You don't even have to have backsplash. You can order these homes the way you like. You can have that feature wall painted a color or it could be all white or gray or whatever you like. These pendant lights, these beautiful lights, I love them. You may not, everybody's taste is different. Order them with a different one or buy them Give these to your cousin that absolutely loves them and buy the ones that you like. You can customize these houses the way that you want. Now, off of the kitchen dining room area, you've got this beautiful utility room. Your washer and dryer go on either side, which is really nice. Your washer and dryer go on either side of this little counter space here. It's open concept, so you can put like um, any extra supplies. I was going to say your detergents and stuff, but that's really up to you because you have these cabinets up here, right? So it's really up to you where you want to put like your laundry detergents and stuff, but you have this area too. And this could be like overflow. This could be like, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, um extra soap all kind of stuff it could even have clothes in it right and then you have this counter space here between your washer that would go here and your dryer that would go there that you could fold your clothes if i had this well i don't know i probably wouldn't have a um bed full of clothes right now that needed to be folded from two weeks ago love this big picture window love it Love this big window. Then on this side, you've got more counter space. You can use this for a desk. You've got extra storage. You've got cubby holes and cabinets over here that you can put stuff. And also on the other side. And you know what I just realized? This is like a frosted glass. Um, and it's on the other side as well. So that's a frosted glass. This side has little hooks that you can hang stuff from. Maybe this is your craft area. Maybe this is, um, you've got hooks up there. The kids can hang their coats or you can just whatever you want to do with it. You have this area here. Really, really nice area. I'm going to go back over here and kind of pan the room so you can see. So you've got this area right here. Awesome. And then you've got your wash and dryer go here, cabinets up there, and that large window. And again, this is off the dining room. And then that's your kitchen over there. Really nice. Really nice. So let's go down here and see what we got on this side. All right, you got your guest bath here. Another large window. This house is not lacking for natural lighting, you guys. 
Love the huge sink you got there. The counter space in this bathroom, cabinets, and you have drawers. Really nice. Really nice. Love that huge sink. There's your toilet right there. And then you have a tub shower combination over here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so then that's the guest bath. That sounds like my car. Nope, somebody cut it off. So it's not my car. Okay, that's the guest bath. And then you have a guest bedroom here. Nice space in this guest bath bedroom. And then you've got a walk-in closet in here. Move in so you can see it. So that's your walk-in closet. Right there. This has a nice drywall finish. It's not the unfinished sheetrock like we've seen in other houses that have the seams. That sheetrock, you guys, is just not finished. So it has the seams in it. And this one has the finished drywall. Huge, huge room. Another walk-in closet here. Carpet all the way through. All right, so this is three bedroom, two bath, two large guest bedrooms. So the kids or your guests or your sister or brother that live with you or your mom, uncle, cousin, friend would have nice space in their room. This is nice. All right, so back into the living room, we're gonna walk past the front door and go take a look at the master bedroom. So the master is off the front door, off the foyer, over here by itself. That's all the trim that's not put up in the house. Got a large master bedroom. Large master. Right here you've got a your master closet, walk-in closet. Can't see the whole closet because one of the doors is in here, or that's the screen door in the front for the sliding glass. And then on the other side, you've got two doors that have not been put up for other areas. So you can't really see into the whole, but this master closet is about the same as the other walk-in closets that we saw in this house, so. Nice size master bedroom. Then you got your master bath. To the right, you got your double sinks. You got a makeup area. Not a place to sit, but anytime it's lower like that, you could use it as a makeup area. I love that they got the mirror there so you can, if you do put a stool in front of this area, you can you have a mirror to see. Love the rectangular um sinks in here lots of cabinet space and uh drawer space cubby holes would be a really nice uh area to put your makeups your toiletries uh lotions and things like a spa area roll some towels whatever you like beautiful stand-up shower here you got the glass wall so you don't have any sliders or anything you just got the glass a, a nice squeegee and you can keep that clean Beautiful rain shower, shower head, really nice tile. Again, if that's not you, you guys, you can always get that changed. I was looking for the lever for the shower is right here. <laughs> I would actually put a bench in here. It's enough space for it. Put a bench right there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it's next to the sink. Now, across from the sink, You've got this huge soaker tub, feature wall just like in the foyer, big transom window. And over there in the corner, you have your toilet area. 
and a really big, another big picture window. Beautiful bathroom. Really functional, nice size. Love it. Love it, love it. Let's go see how much she cost. All right, again, this is in the Patriot series. It did, series. It didn't give me the exact name here um, on the refrigerator, but it's a Clayton Homes and it's a part of the Patriot series. I toured another Patriot home. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and link it in the iCard above. But I toured another Patriot um, and Clayton Homes that was made different from this one. So this one is $99,995. And that's all of the things that maybe you can pause it and zoom it in if it's hard to see. But that's everything that is included in that price, $99,995. The base price includes delivery setup, tie-downs, port concrete pier footings, and the heat pump. Um, so you get all of that for $99,995. Okay, again, we're at Vivian Homes in Baldwin, Georgia. This is a Clayton Series home. A, a Clayton Homes, the Patriot Series. $99,995. Beautiful. <laughs>